Greetings everyone, and welcome to Anime Night in the Dojo. Today's featured show, Jujutsu Kaisen, Season 2. Uh, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen, Season 2, Episode 5. Welcome back to the Dojo. I'm Ryu. He's Age, we're back for more Anime Night in the Dojo, and, well, last episode of the past arc, uh, last episode was pretty damn solid. Uh, talked about it last week, how the audio was very impressive, at least for me. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, use of audio and the piano and all that stuff. That was really cool. Uh, Gojo using uh, purple for the first time. That was interesting. We got some more of the uh, reverse curse technique stuff. Um, a lot of visual symbolism for uh, the direction each character was going in at the time. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll just have to see what they do with this episode. Um, we, we talked about the other guy that was hanging out with Nanami. Uh, there's got to be something up with that guy. So, you know, just saying, just at some point, or I don't know what, we'll, we'll have to talk about that if they do nothing with him, and then we'll have to try to piece that one together. But as it stands, yeah, I mean, if if it had ended last week and that, that was just it, then that would have been a pretty solid ending for this to just jump back to the future, but... We, we got one more episode, so we just got to kind of see what they want to do with it. I mean, Ushigura the Elder is toast, so we don't really have to worry about him at this point. Um, I, I really don't know what they can do with this. Uh, maybe a little bit more Shoko, obviously, maybe Nanami and that Yu guy, I believe his name is Yu something or other. Um, yeah, it's Yu something. Uh, Stream Deck is once again trying to get me to update it, but it's not going to happen until they fix the shit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really know what they could do with this one, so we're just gonna have to see. We know that we're, we're pretty damn certain that Rico's death is probably the major reason what sets uh, Gato on his path to like the dark side, basically. Yeah, um, as it stands right now, really, like the only remaining plot thread we have going is just Dark Gato and. Uh, the remnants of the star religious uh group and i suppose what happens with tengen is what we know tengen's yeah. still around in the future just did it did he turn into to skull Greymon or what <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll just have to see what they do with it so you got anything going into this one age um i mean not really but the Tengen stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not going to be something that we really go into until... Like, it might all probably be brought up, but I don't think we're really going to go into Tengen, like, as a whole until back in the present. Because, uh... The whole thing with, uh, Tengen is that he very slowly turns into a monster over time. And the whole thing of, like the assimilation thing is basically him just pushing the reset button on his transformation. Right. So, like, he's not just going to turn into a monster overnight because he didn't manage to assimilate this time. It just means that he's going to uh, continue progressing. Yep. So, I assume they, uh, they, they don't do the assimilation, like, two days before it would be terrible for him. <laughs> they, they probably yeah. do it years ahead of time like yeah we're, we're about a decade out we should probably just start checking into that get, get, just get it done now before it becomes any semblance of a problem kind of deal so anyway let's uh let's push some buttons and see what happens this week uh random side note the next episode since they did take a like a three or four week hiatus between the beginning of this and uh, the, the actual like start of the next arc. Um, the next episode is not dubbed yet, so we'll just have to see where that puts us uh, in a time frame for this. But hopefully by next week the dub will appear and we'll just be like on the same week as the dub. But since they did take like a three week hiatus between the past arc and the present one, um, we'll just have to see. But as of right now on Crunchyroll, the uh, next episode, which is titled something kind of weird, but it's kind of comical what it's titled but uh it's still only a sub so we'll just have to see what happens with that but 
uh, hopefully we'll just be able to roll right into that next week and there won't be a problem. So, anyway. Let's push some buttons and see what happens with this. So, here goes some. And we're all of a sudden year later. Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, that worked well. Uh, what the heck was that? Auto selection of targets for jujutsu technique? Yeah, though to be more precise, I'm the target for the auto technique. I... Damn monkeys. <laughs> Letting cultists get to you, man. Huh? Can't let it happen. Hi, Bara. Good work out there! Huh? You with the hair. Are you Gato? I was wondering what type of women you go for. Oh boy. <laughs> I like the type of girls that eat a lot. Oh? Hi, Bara. Don't worry about her, Gato. She's not a bad person. I can tell I'm a great judge of character. You say that, yet you're She is single handedly me. responsible for, for Aoi, yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was being sarcastic, you know. Gato, do you hate non-sorcerers? I don't know. I always thought you just sorcerers existed to protect yeah. non-sorcerers. But lately, the value of non-sorcerers has been wavering in my mind. Either there was already another star plasma vessel ready at the time, or a new star plasma vessel's already been born somewhere. Either way, don't worry. Dengen seems pretty stable. Okay, that question was answered. Just say, yeah, here, by the way. Okay. I didn't get his type. They're all there, right? All the branch directors, all the representatives, and the president. <laughs> all the big donors as well. How does... Test, how, how do two girls that get raised me? by Gato Sorry turn into way. valley girls? Now, That's my free. question. From this moment on... <laughs> This organization belongs to me. You're oh. Megami Fushiguro, right? I want it to you. What's with that weird looking face, you freak? <laughs> yeah. You look like him all. There it is. It's my own issue. If I do go there, do you think my sister will be able to find happiness? If she can, then. No. A hundred percent no. I can say that with certainty. <laughs> Didn't even have to think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave the rest of me. Hey, so... I don't think this has ever happened. Like, ever. Like, literally every question that I wanted answered happened and got answered. S some of them in rapid succession, very just matter-of-fact. Just, here's this, this, and this. There you go. Okay. I don't even know what to say to that. That that was just impressive. I I I have no further questions. Yeah, apparently within a year's time, Gato is already not Gato, I mean uh, Gojo is already pretty much on the level that he is right now. Friggin. Contrary to the Star Religious Order's beliefs, apparently Rika never mattered in the first place. Apparently not, according to Yuki, so now we know her name. I'm not sure if we got her name in, like, Aoi's, like, um, recollection of her. I don't remember if her name was mentioned. I... I knew her name from some of my random minor source material knowledge. Like, I knew her name, and I knew that she's, like, supposed to be one of the strongest, like, professional sorcerers out there. Like, she's on Gojo's level. Uh... But that was basically all I know, and I don't remember how much of that is just from random source material knowledge or from uh, what Aoi actually did mention. Right. Once again, it's her fault. Well, I 100% blame her for, like, probably 90% of the things that we have seen and have not seen. This is her fault. Instead of doing her job, she's screwing around creating guys like Aoi. <laughs> She's basically, she's basically the foil to Gato. Yeah. Gato's whole goal is to 
make it to where freaking they're basically they're working towards the same goal their goal both of their goals is to have a world of only sorcerers however gato is basically going about it by gunpoint of like you will become a sorcerer or you will die she's trying to do it through like actual educational purposes of like going through from person to person and just teaching them how to be a sorcerer right both of which uh, unless you're literally gojo is going to take a very long time just to say get that done in japan alone you're not going to pull that off in like even a decade that's going to take a while unless you literally hijack the national media and are just like go full phantom thieves from p5 and just hijack the entire national media and just hey here's this education if you don't want to turn into a creepy cursed spirit here you go <laughs> but yeah we don't really know how she's going about it just that that is apparently her goal yeah so we know how gato has been going about it <laughs> We already know how his whole situation has turned out up to present day with his uh, extreme ideals and failed plans that have all led to the fact that he is now just a cursed spirit himself. Right. Which, was that something that we knew? That upon death that sorcerers could just decide they would become cursed spirits? Was that a thing that we knew? Um, like, from just anime stuff? He had we had the implication because Gato did it, but no, we didn't have like a confirmation of like, no, that's just definitely that is just a thing that like strong sorcerers could do. They kept enough control over their cursed energy that they could basically just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm a spirit now. Right. Because uh, after Gato dies, he just, well, you know what happens with him and he just, he he, he continues on like nothing happened. He's still yeah. the leader of that group. He's still uh, treating people so I assume he's able to force manifest himself in front of people who can't see cursed spirits because they did have that whole scene with him uh, taking that cursed spirit from that like young woman and her mother uh, mm -hmm. while he was already a cursed spirit himself. So they could see it. They were interacting with him. She, the mother, or knew that he was somebody that could spiritually heal her daughter. Yeah, presumably it's either just a thing of, like, cursed spirits can choose to manifest themselves, just most don't. Uh, and slash or just, you know, the fact that he's Gato and his whole ability is centered around manipulating cursed spirits. He could potentially just, you know, manipulate himself to be visible. Right. And we even had scenes earlier in the show where he was already a spirit. And, like, when he went to the cafe with the uh, uh, yeah, the, other, like, the other two, and then um, fucking Yuji's Mount Fuji head thing comes to mind, but it, his name is uh, Jogo. 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 I, why? That That's one of my major questions. Why did you name them so close? Why you do this? <laughs> it's maddening. <laughs> yeah, uh, from the start of the series, he's been a spirit. Like, yeah. we've only ever actually seen him as a human in the flashback yeah, movie. Yeah, in, in the movie, yeah. So my point was, is everyone in the cafe could only see him. Mm -hmm. yeah, presumably, yeah, Except for that one guy who saw what was going on and peaced out before the entire cafe got melted. He, he didn't... <laughs> He couldn't see the cursed spirits. He could just tell something was off. He had enough of a sixth sense to realize that something very dangerous was there yeah. and that he needed to leave. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, presumably Gato's done something to himself that he is perceivable by normal people unless he chooses not to be. Right. He's perceivable by the monkeys because the monkeys need to be able to see him if he wants to lead his, well, his cult. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them and lead them, I guess. If you can't Weird. beat them, then make them follow you. Yeah, so th that's interesting. All right. They, they, once again, they, they answered every question that I had and a couple that I didn't know that I had. Like uh, Gojo's 
techniques and stuff like that. Him being like full automated and using he's basically using the reverse curse technique to not let his brain get fried. That's interesting. He's- He's freaking. Uh, In theory, he he might not actually have to sleep, which is very interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, like he, he he's basically gone Deadpool, and then yeah. it's just he's he's automated all of his techniques to the point of his body is constantly frying itself, but he's also automated the self healing factor to the point of it counteracts him frying himself. Right. Just, just full on regeneration. That's, that, that's actually pretty damn impressive. Which, that that joke at the end of the episode where they jump back to the future, where it's just like, <laughs> oh, even Sensei sleeps. Like, it's kind of one of those things where it's like he doesn't have to sleep anymore, probably. But I, I guess he can if he feels like it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just one of those cases of he can if he chooses to. Yeah. Because he probably still gets some benefit out of it. It's just not a requirement for him. Yeah. So, there you have it. I mean, every question was answered. Real bummer about uh, you. Very unceremonious death. That, that's about what we expected for his character. We, we talked about that, like, episode one. And it took five episodes, but it's not like he was in every episode and risking death. It was just one of those... And we saw it in the first season with them talking about sorcerers getting sent on missions and potentially use death as the reason why they really look into stuff or oversend people. Like when they sent um, Utah, or not, when they sent Utah with um, the Kurt's speech user, I forget his name, but they sent Utah with him to a mission that was deemed even easy for this Kurt's speech guy. But they sent him as backup anyway, just in case. Yeah. They, they overkill missions so that that crap doesn't happen anymore. As often, at least. Yeah, as often. It's, it's, it's just one of those cases of like, yeah, all of the info can point towards one thing, but that doesn't mean that it can't still just be something that's even stronger that's just masking itself. Yep. But yeah, no, presumably use death is what causes Nanami to uh, dissociate himself with Jujutsu High. And as we see, that was basically the straw that finally broke Gato. Yep. Like he was already teetering on the edge after Rika's death and the whole traumatic experience with the cult. But apparently Yu was finally the straw that finally pushed him over the edge and made him just say, you know what? Fuck this whole human thing. Pretty much. I mean, he re- he recited his speech from the first episode, which he ended with, to save people. I do it to save people. And he recited that speech again this time, but instead of say- saying that he was going to save people, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. So, it's just one of those things where, well... I, it, stuff like that can break people. It's just how it is. And n- now we know where the Valley Girls came from. I, I, yeah. I, I made that reference in the live reaction. Still don't know how they became Valley Girls. But whatever. But at least we know where they're from. So there's, a, there's another one of those questions that got answered that I didn't know needed to be answered. But that's nice. N- nice that we know where they came from. So, okay. Neat. And apparently they were just couple of girls in some rural village that had uh, abnormally high cursed energy and were being blamed for all of the misfortunes of the village even though they weren't actually the cause but just because they were giving off this abnormal energy everyone turned on them anyway Right. so Gato just kind of raised them and trained them to be actual sorcerers yep so yeah Solid episode. All the questions that we needed answered were answered, even a couple extras. Um, <laughs> Yuki is obviously going to be a probably a fairly interesting character and relevant character going forward, especially since now that we can talk about what we're headed into back in the future. We're assuming that Gojo is going to get stuffed in a box because that, that was the original plan from season one was, well, we can't yeah. beat Go- Gojo, 
So we've always talked about this before. If you can't beat something, the next logical step is to contain them somehow, kind of like the evil containment wave from Dragon Ball. And you stick them in a box. So we assume that's what's going to happen to Gojo. <laughs> or, you know, the, the SCP Foundation. Yeah, or that. So, e either way. Yeah. I At this point, I'm pretty sure that he is going to get sealed away. It's just going to be a matter of... of uh, to what extent is he going to get sealed away? Like, is he going to actually be, like, out of the show? Or is it going to be a case of, like, oh, we sealed him away, but he's only gone for, like, a core? Right. Or, or is he going to be, like, Polner of the Turtle? <laughs> <laughs> or, or just, like, full Veldor. Hold on. I, I can get myself out of this, and I can talk to you guys, but it's going to be, like, a year or five or whatever the time frame is and he can just sit there and he's just like in a box somewhere being able to talk to him that would be hilarious <laughs> or, or you know just full schrodinger alucard just up and disappear from existence for like 40 years and then just suddenly pop back into existence and be like oh hey guys what's up yeah w what do you mean you guys are grandfathers now well <laughs> so yeah that, that, that'll be interesting to see what they do with that. But hey, we got all our quest questions answered again. That's cool. Uh, and yeah, I, I appreciated what they did with this episode. You know, we, we speculated what they could possibly do with it outside of answering all the questions. And we got exactly what we needed to for this. It wrapped up pretty much everything from the past mm -hmm. arc and bridged it straight into the uh, Megami stuff with what Gojo does with him and then straight back to the future to the last thing that we saw in season one was him calling up the crew and saying, hey, we got a job, and well, there they are. So, it's yeah. like that. <laughs> what an episode title yeah. name for next week. <laughs> yes, as Gojo so aptly put, the Zen and do not care for uh, Megumi's uh, non-sorcerer sister. Right. <laughs> it's like, can my sister find happy... Don't even finish the he didn't even he almost didn't even let him finish the sentence. Like, no. No. <laughs> All the Zen and care about is their freaking sorcerer powers. That's the whole reason why I like freaking uh Maki and them are in the state that they're in, is because freaking only one of them actually has sorcerer powers. Yep. Well, a lot of that going around in the stuff we're watching. We we saw something similar in the ancient Magus Pride, so Anyway, solid episode. I appreciated it. The, this past arc was it was interesting. I like what they did with it, especially from just there. There's some solid comedy bits, uh, just more character development stuff like that. There, uh, I kind of wish they had done a little bit more with Shoko, but that, that's okay. Um, yeah, like we didn't really get for the characters who changed into the present. The only thing we really got was Gato. Donami basically only showed up a few times just to be maimed. Shoko was barely around more than he was. And Meimei and Haruhime were basically only right in in the first episode. Yep. And while Meimei didn't change very much, Shoko and Haruhime are like the two who have changed the most from what we've seen of them in the past to where they are in the present. Yep. Like, we got nothing on, like, what what's the deal with Haruhime Scar or anything like that. We thought that might be something that they might have just, like, one-off, kind of, like, passed off, like, what, what we got with... Oh, the, the Star Plasma Vessel? Don't worry about it. Uh, you? Yeah, he's freaking dead. Uh, just the rapid-fire stuff. Oh, yeah, Haruhime took one to the face. Whatever it may be at that point. So... Yeah, it's like, Shoko is still at least somewhat similar, even though she has changed a fair amount. Uh... But Haruhime, like, basically the only similarity between uh, past Haruhime and present Haruhime is just that they both still wear the Miko attire, and uh, they both still hate Gojo. Yeah. So, well, it's probably not very important, and they could easily do those backstories during the present arc, or a future arc. Um, it is what it is. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm sure they'll get a focus at some point. You know, these shows and stuff like that do backstories at random intervals. 
whenever the character is relevant. So it's not a huge deal. This was more about Gato and Gojo. Um, so still pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, going forward, we'll just have to see what's going on with the dub. Hopefully it shows up by next week. Uh, if it doesn't, then we're just going to have to wait. <laughs> not much we can do about it. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, usually we're about a month behind because of how long uh, it is for most shows that get dubbed almost like simulcast. Uh, it's still like about like two or three weeks behind and that's about where we're at. But since it took like a three week hiatus for whatever, uh, most of August, um, I don't know. Or we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll be back with more Jujutsu when the dub fires back up. Hopefully it's next week so we don't uh, miss anything, but... If it's like a week or two, then it is what it is. So uh, if, it, if it's not there, I'll just throw up a video on Wednesday saying, hey, it's not here this week. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, you got anything else for this one, Age? Um, I think I did at some point, but I'm just kind of drawing a blank now. Alrighty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, beyond however you're watching, we always appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here in the dojo for more anime night in the dojo. This is Jujutsu Kaisen, season two, episode five, the end of the past arc. And hopefully for us next week with the dub, we'll be uh, kicking off It's Like That. That episode title intrigues me. What's like what? We'll have to see. Hopefully it's next week, but if not, we'll be back whenever the dub fires. So have a good morning, evening, afternoon. Whatever it is for you. Have a good one. See you next time. Hey everyone, Victoria here. If you enjoyed the video, please consider pushing those like and subscribe buttons. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for your time, and we hope to see you again in the future.